Let's have a look at type 8. There are two examples on this page. The instructions say, in each of the following questions, you are given a sentence in which a four-letter word is hidden at the end of one word and the beginning of the next word. Find the pair of words that contain a real four-letter word. So, example one is this sentence up here, which is, Roger paid over the asking price. And what they're saying is that somewhere there is a four-letter word hidden and the reason it's hidden is because it's made up of some of the letters from one word and some of the letters of the next one. Um, and so it could be between each pair of words. So it could be between Roger and paid, paid and over, over and the, the asking or asking price. And we've got to find out where it is. The best thing to do is to just look at the sentence first and see if you can spot the hidden word. And what your eyes really should be doing is looking at the options. So for example, between Roger and Paid, we've got the option of the four-letter word being made up of three letters from Roger, the G-E-R, the last three letters, and the first letter of the next word, making JERP, which is not a real word. You then move on and try two letters from Roger and two from Paid. So you've got er and P-A, so erpa, again, not a real word. And then you move on and only one from Roger and three from Paid, which is rrpe, again, not a real word. So you keep going and you now need to move on to the next pair. So you've got Paid and Over. And you try again, three letters from Paid and one from Over making, if you read it as if they were a, a real word, in other words, all the letters were next to each other, it would say ADO, which is not a real word. Then the next two from paid and two from over makes IDOV, or IDOV, again, not a real word. And you go on to the next one, one from paid and three from over, which, if you pictured it as a real word, would say DOVE. So our answer is dove. Then we move on to another example. It says here, he should eat his food now. So exactly the same as we did in the first example, you're looking for a four-letter word hidden somewhere between each pair of words. So again, if we can't spot it immediately, you've just got to look at each pair separately. And here we go, we've got he, and sh, which if you read as one word would be hesh, which is not a real word. You've got e and sho making esho or esho, again not a real word. Then you move on all the way till you have three letters from should and one from eat, which makes alde or old, not a real word. And you keep going uldi, deet, Again, none of those making real words, so you move on. Now we've got three from eat and one from his, making eth. Look at that. Did you notice that if I were to read that as a real word, the T and the H together make a th sound. Th. Still not a real word. So we try athy, no luck. And we move on. We've got now T and H-I-S put together makes this. And this is a real word, so that's our answer. Answer is this.